Hey everybody, welcome to Perimeter. Uh, perimeter is a concept that they've already been working on in third grade. We start doing a little bit of uh, reviewing and then we kind of add a couple things to it. So we're going to jump right in here. I tell the kids the way I remember Perimeter is I think of a basketball rim, the rim of a basketball hoop. And I think that you go around the rim, I think of a basketball and just circling around that rim until it falls through the hoop. So Perimeter is the outside of the, our object. So when we're figuring out how far it is around the outside of our object, on an object like this, we have eight feet on this side, four feet on this side. The kids automatically start figuring out, well, it's the same thing over here. This must be another eight over here. This must be another four over here. And in order to figure that out, all we need to do is add those sides together. I say, if you have a dog in the middle here, we've got to add this side to this side. But if we just do that, you left this whole back side open, your dog's just going to run right out the back. So we have to add all four of those together. And there's kids that they try a variety of strategies. Some kids go 8 plus 4 is 12, and that's 8 plus 4 is another 12, and they get 24. Other kids like to do 8 plus 8 is 16, 4 plus 4 is 8, and they get 24. Whatever strategy they want to use, as long as they realize we're adding these sides together, okay? Another big thing we want to make sure we're doing, because after perimeter we're going to move into area, is when we get our units, we want to put 24, I call it plain old feet, because we're only measuring one dimension. I tell them, you've seen those little things where they put like a little 2 or a 3 up here? For this, it's an invisible 1, because it just means one dimension, we're measuring how long that is. And they're like, well we're, well, we're measuring all these sides, one's going this way, one's... I'm going to show you what we mean by how long that is in the next slide I'm going to show you. So an object like this, my square that I have down here, I look and I go, well, one side's three, they don't give me the other ones. Well, if you know anything about a square, you know that every side is going to be the same, so that must mean three, three, three. And once again, I'll have kids use a variety of strategies to do this. We know that we're adding all the way around, three plus three plus three plus three to get 12. Some kids take it to the next level and say, well, it's four sides, and if I'm getting all four sides, then it's going to be four times three. Either way, this is going to be 12, and also notice the units. This is meters. This has changed. So 12 meters, and just a plain old M, because we're only doing one dimension, the length around the outside of that shape. Over here, I've given us a regular hexagon, and regular means all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same, so if I know that, that's two centimeters, then that's two centimeters, then that's two, then that's two, then that's two, then that's two. And I have some kids that will add all of those around, two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, plus two all the way around. Uh, they can also look at it and go two, and it's six of them, so two times six. If you're going to add all the way around, especially with these more complex shapes, I always tell the kids, as you're counting them up, cross them out so that you, when you go around you don't accidentally reuse them because when you get a lot of numbers sometimes you accidentally reuse the, the, the next guy here and then all of a sudden you added numbers you don't need. So for this one it's going to end up being 12 centimeters. So that's the basic concept of perimeter. I'm going to show you why perimeter works this way and why we talk about it being the length around an object. So here's my dog in that same rectangle. We're keeping him inside the yard. We said that that's 8 feet which means that's 8 feet and that's 4 feet. We add all that up together, and we end up with a line that is going to be 24 feet long. And they go, well, wait a minute, that's not a line, this is a rectangle. And I say, you're right, it is a rectangle. But if I start taking it apart, I'll go ahead and shrink my line too much. I take all those pieces and then I just lay them down. Let's see here. There's a four foot piece. There's a four foot piece. There's an eight foot piece. And we measure that straight there. We're really only measuring, even though we're measuring around, we're really only measuring one dimension. We're measuring the length. We just take that object and just unfold it and flatten it. So that's where we get the 24 feet. It is 24 feet. If I took a string and wrapped it around that yard, it's 24 feet. Okay, 24 straight feet. One dimension, a length. This would be a next level question in fourth grade. 
Okay, so we're going to give you a, an object, an irregular object, and we're going to give you some missing information. Okay. Now kids go, well, we can't add this together unless we have all the information. And I tell them, if I give you a problem like this that doesn't have all the information, what I'm probably telling you is you're going to have to use the other information to create your own information. That's kind of a next level skill. So if I look right here, let's say I'm looking at this line right here. And I go, I don't know how long this is. I tell them, look at the opposite side. So look up. I notice this piece right here is 4. I notice that this piece right here is 4. If I took both those pieces and dragged them down, so up top I told you that's 4, and I brought that one down, that's 4, well that means this side must be 8. Okay, so I used the information across from it and just brought it straight down. Okay, so that's when we're adding sides together. The other side is going to be the opposite of that. And this whole side is 9. But if I bring that information across to my question mark, I'll notice I don't need all that information. I don't need 9. i got to figure out how to get rid of this piece here. Well, I look right here and I go, well, here, right here, it says that that is 3. If I bring that over and cover that up, well, there it is. So this little chunk here is 3. We're going to get rid of that. Well, if I take 3 off of this 9 line here, well, this has got to be... 6. So now I got all my information, and just because I don't want to confuse myself, I'm going to get rid of these other tiny numbers. A lot of numbers tends to confuse us. And then I start putting pieces together. 4 plus 3 is 7. And when I do it, I cross it off, and I usually write my information off on the side. 4 plus 6 is 10. 8 plus 9 is 17. I've used all my numbers. Now I start combining things, and you can combine them. What, what, whatever way you're comfortable. For me, I'm looking at this and right away I go, that's an easy one to do. That's 27. And now I'm going to take this 7 up here and add it on. So the distance around this irregular shape with some missing information is 34 meters. If I could take it and unfold all of those lines flat, it would be 34 meters. That is perimeter in a couple of different ways that we showed you today. We showed you some normal shapes. We showed you a a regular hexagon when you're doing a lot of information. We've just showed you the details of why it's just really considered the length. If we unfold it, that's all we're doing. We're just measuring the length around this object. And then we showed you an irregular shape with some missing information and how to create information from the information they gave. That is perimeter, and I hope you liked it.